Ooh, okay, sub 20 minutes. Okay. I think one of the only times where I legit raged at a game in a stream was Siphon Filter 2. And it was partially because the game was making me mad and partially because uh, my controller was getting disconnected randomly. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a sensible thing. I mean, even doing that, it still is an impressive, like, challenge. <laughs> like, there are people out like, I mean, I guess it depends on, like, like, the people out there that only do Tomb Raider, I can see they have, like, the higher, like, tier challenge. But for people who like doing things other than Tomb Raider, you know, um... Yeah, it's, it's okay if you, you know, bump down the challenge, you know, because of, like, just random bullshit. And Tomb Raider 3 is filled with a bunch of random bullshit. Like, I was talking about how you died in London, in, like, Team's Wharf twice, doing those, your half attempts. And that's, that, like... That's bullshit. That's... It's not on you that that happened. <laughs> oh, wow. We're like two... Let's, like, a little over two hours in. And I'm here. That's... I'm making reasonably decent time, I guess. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Pick out the magnums. Because it did happen where he was able to damage me if I was like right at the edge. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Tomb Raider game without like, you know, <laughs> random crap like that. But that's why we like the games, because of how absurd they can be. I mean, it makes sense in game, like how the engine and everything is, but in reality, <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. Lock on. He's kaboom. Yeah, I guess let's go down here, get the magnum ammo, then go up on the pillar, get the shotgun shells, and uh Continue. <laughs> the Tomb Raider Logic Podcast. How does Clara go to the flush her toilet in her mansion? Well, first, she has to go to her library. Then she has to pull out a specific book that will turn off her fireplace so she can go up to her or attic, and then in the attic there's a button, but it's timed. And then from the attic, she has to like you know press that timed button and then go back down to her bathroom to her toilet, and then press a button in there, and then it'll flush. <laughs> Tr logic. <laughs> I mean, I get like you know why that has to happen in game and all, but I mean it's still. <laughs> Still, it's kind of stupid. And what's the process for Lara to start her car? <laughs> I'm sure I just Winston do all that. Okay, key. Shock and chills. I'll just make a tier early where like Laura has to like Laura's making a snack or something. She has to like, you know, first she has to find the item, then she has to put it in like the microwave, and it's just like enable the microwave and then just like grab like that. Snack raider. I don't know. Just some random thing I came up with just now. Someone probably made a tier early like that. <clears throat> Alrighty. I should probably go and check and see if someone actually did. So it would be amusing to play. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, that's... Ooh, Morning Tomb Editor. Ooh, you're gonna make your own TRLE. Ugh, Hyper Square. Uh, I don't want to play that. It still blows my mind that it's larger than... I think it's even larger than the install size of Tomb Raider 2013. Yeah, I mean, I've got the uh, Tomb Raider editor installed and everything, because it came with the uh, copy of Tomb Raider 4 that I have. Which I find amusing. It comes with Tomb Raider 4, not Tomb Raider 5. At least I think it does. I'm going to be an idiot, and I'm going to check. No, it actually does come with that, uh, because I don't have Chronicles installed, and I don't have Tomb Wait, you know what? Give me a second. Tomb Edit. No, I don't have it. Okay, my bad. I was an idiot. It actually does come with a digital copy of Tomb Raider 5, as it should. <laughs> Tomb Raider logic. But if everything was straightforward, the Tomb Raider games wouldn't be fun. That's a, that's a tricky secret because he's trigger tile for the secrets, the med pack, and you know, no loads, no meds. You don't pick up med packs. Yeah, I mean, it would be way too straightforward, too easy, too logical. That's why they gotta put their two meter logic in. Where is he down there? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, yeah, okay, finally locked on. Okay, he's dead. Right, Lara. Oh, yeah, that's definitely... Two things. Music is incredible in this game. It's most consistent... No, I was gonna say that's the most consistent thing about all the classic Tomb Raider games. The music's great, but... Yeah, at the same time, they did kind of balance it out, though, with the underwater maneuverability, because in Tomb Raider 2 and later, she can, like, flip a tumble in the water. Like this, underwater. I don't know. It would have been great if they kept, like, both maneuverability things. Yeah. It's weird, though, that, like, for the most part, Tomb Raider 2 is, like, better than Tomb Raider 1. Like, especially with, like, the controls and everything. But it's just, like, that one thing that Tomb Raider 1 has better. Okay, at least the PC version of this is one thing over the PlayStation version. And I wonder if it's like that in a Saturn version as well. Because in the PlayStation version, there's uh, an enemy up behind that block up there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Tomb Raider 2 is... It's not like... I'm not saying that Tomb Raider 1 is bad. I just think that Tomb Raider 2 is just better in every way. <laughs> it's more, and it's better. More expansive levels more features, more things. It's more difficult. But it's that's a that's a good thing in Tomb Raider 2, but not quite a good thing in Tomb Raider 3, because Tomb Raider 3, they kind of went a little, little, little insane with the uh, difficulty. <laughs> like to the point where it sometimes feels kind of unfair. Alright, Lara.
Time to get secret two. <laughs> Thankfully, this level's not really... Well, for the most part, the levels aren't that long. I... Like, in no load some I think, like, the longest level's, like, 30 minutes or so, and I... That's, what, like... Natless Mines? Like, most of the levels are sub-20 minutes. Sadly, that's not the case in 2 meter 2 or 2 meter 3. That's not really a bad thing. Especially in like no loads, no ads. Oh yeah. So like a lot of like PS1 games, like this like Tomb Raider for example, didn't have a difficulty setting. Like you could kind of sort of maybe argue that like New Game Plus is more difficult or less difficult, but it's balanced out by like the fact that you have unlimited ammo, but at the same time the enemies have twice the health. So I don't even, like, would you even consider that? Like, harder, it just, it's different. Oh, yeah, it's... These classic Tomb Raider games did it best. Well, I mean, they, they, they definitely are challenging. Like, I, I, I have to, you know, admit that. Okay, like, I can see maybe one difficulty setting for, tier, for two meter, especially for, like, TRLEs. And, like, the difficulty setting would just basically be, like, how strict the timed runs are. Like, instead of, like, TRLEs basic, being basically impossible, TR, like, timed runs, it would be just merely very hard. And you could have, like, that be the easy setting, and then have, like, the nearly impossible, like, timed runs be... Like the normal setting. I play on easy. But even like TRLE easy is definitely horrifically hard for like, you know, the average gamer, especially these days. Like, oh my god, I, you expect me to. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I added that uh, yesterday because I was wondering, is there a Max Payne emote? And there is. There's two of them. There's that one, and there's the one like the Shock Max from like the comics in Max Payne one. That one's a lot better. <laughs> It's just the music me, I'm looking at it, I'm just, I'm giggling. <laughs> Constipated Max. Is that where the Max pain comes from? <gasps> don't you, don't you, you, don't, don't. Okay. That was close. Yeah, that... I do have a clip of how, like, he, like, forced me into the wall, and then 
I died from fall damage. That was an early attempt. I've always hated that guy. <laughs> yeah, after this level's done, I'll find the uh, clip of that. And I'll link it. <laughs> Cheesy man, I'm 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 doing no loads in the meds run. Can you like you know keep that grip to a minimum? I'm just sort of giggling and then I'm probably gonna die and I'm gonna get mad that I died, but then I'm gonna remember why I died and I'm gonna start giggling again. Okay, you can kinda do it. I I am just I'm memeing about that. I, I really don't care. <laughs> just, <laughs> just that max pain face is <laughs> turn to the max. I don't get <laughs> Like, for the first Max Payne game, they used Sam Lake, the guy who, like, wrote the game, as, like, the model for him. But then why do they ask him to be like, okay, Max, we want you to have a constipated face. Okay, right, Sam, constipated face. Like, but why? <laughs> because we just want you to, man. Pain to the max. Pain in the butt. 